Hi, welcome to Island Flair, an interview cooking show where we talk to some really beautiful people and teach you how to prepare some incredible dishes right in the comfort of your own home. Today, our special guest is Leslie Van Der Poel. Leslie, <laughs> welcome to Island Flair. Thank you. Uh, there, I, you know, um, I, I almost don't know how to approach this in that, you know, uh, it is so much that I have seen and heard uh, about you and the stuff that you do. Why not tell, tell our viewers just a little bit about yourself? Why don't you ask me questions and I'll answer. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, t let's start off. Um, well, I know that you are, you're the brainchild of um, the film festival. Yes. Um, how do you see uh, um, films and that type of stuff in the Bahamas, the Caribbean? How are we emerging as it relates to, to that particular genre? Well, because we show international films in the film festival, mm -hmm. we're celebrating five years this year. Right. Um, Congratulations. The Bahamas, thank you. <laughs> the Bahamas International Film Festival has the opportunity to showcase films from all over the world and showcase them to the Bahamians so that the emerging filmmakers here get mm -hmm. to see exactly the quality and the standard that they need mm -hmm. to appeal to. Mm -hmm. so, so then you, you, you create an, an environment I guess is almost even a good environment for networking. Yes, absolutely. Where they we bring Hollywood here, and so the movies and shakers can uh, mm -hmm. provide opportunities for people who are looking how to break into the industry. Uh -huh. Now that's pretty cool because you know wh when I think about um, you know the Bahamas and our islands and all of that, it it, it is almost like a almost unreal backdrop yes. for any type of film, any type of production. It is. Um, do, do you see um, a lot of filmmakers moving in that particular direction as it relates to, um, you know, using the islands and, you know, a lot of what it is that we have to offer in that regard? Bahamian filmmakers uh, will have to use their backdrop. I mean, for them, it's, it's not a case of them having to go to America to make films. Mm -hmm. You know, they can utilize what they have here, and it's not just our, uh, the setting that we have. We have su such talent, mm -hmm. with the, the actors here. Mm -hmm. So exposing all facets of our country, I think, is important. The stories, uh -huh. the talent, and the, the setting. So what, what then, what, what inspired <coughs> you to, um, um, to just, you know, because I, I think it, it's, a, it's a pretty huge step in that you, you, you've done and created something that probably a lot of people may have thought about <laughs> but never really gone into or done before. Yeah. What, what inspired you um, to go ahead and... and you know, I, put all of this I, together. I was an actress. I started um, at a very young age, just being always in front of an audience, okay. whether it be doing gymnastics, okay. horseback riding, you know, anything in front of an audience. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and um, I got the bug when I saw uh, Chippy Horn. Mm -hmm. uh, and we used to go back home, and my, my friend and I, uh, we used to go back home and pretend like we were. Chicky horn. Chicky horn. <laughs> horn. No. Uh, okay. Now I, I get a, a long, long time ago. But we used to do perform in front of our kid, uh, in front of our parents, and you know whoever was in the living room. Uh -huh. And um, because I had some relatives that were in the industry, mm -hmm. and um, just uh, hearing all about it um, from them, it made me want to break into the performing arts. And I went to St. Andrews, mm -hmm. where there was a great performing arts uh, opportunity for me where I was in a few plays, but mm. then I realized that that's what I wanted to do for the rest of my life. Oh, so you always had that exuberant, um, yes. outgoing personality, yeah. yes. and you kind of infused well. it into a lot of what, what you, um, uh, you, you do now. Right. I, I went away to study at um, Lee Strasberg, and I went to Performing Arts High School. Mm -hmm. I studied at um, Balliol College in Oxford, Shakespeare. And I was studying, doing in the pursuing the career for ten years in New York, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. off Broadway commercials, television and film. Mm -hmm. So um, you know, pounding the pavement, right. getting a manager and agent, and finding a lot of work myself. Mm -hmm. And because I was promoting my my abilities at different film festivals mm -hmm. around the world, in 1998, my uncle Albert Johnson, who was one of the executive directors of the San Francisco Film Festival in the 70s, he discovered Melvin Van Peoples. Okay. But um, he was uh, at the Cannes Film Festival with me in 1998, and he said, well, even before then, he said, wouldn't it be great to have a film festival in the Bahamas? Mm. And um, we 
I, I was young then, and I said I would never come back home because I just felt like it was just such a small environment, and it was nothing here for me in terms of the career. Mm -hmm. And then my mother not being in the industry, you know, sitting around in the living room like this, talking about how we should start a film festival. And mm -hmm. it was a seed planted. And in 1998, he, um, Catherine Weiler, who's also a family friend, um, the daughter of William Wyler. She also has a film festival in Rochester, New York, mm. called the High Falls Film Festival. But we were all sitting around a table in, in a restaurant and talking about how we're going to start a film festival. Right. And um, it, it, at different um, times. And it just so happened, unfortunately, he passed away um, a couple hours before he was to give a tribute to Pam Greer. Mm -hmm. um, he started the whole tribute phenomenon uh, at right. film festivals, which is quite interesting. His history is, is so vast. And everything but, just um, kind of... Everything just... I, I almost think that I'm a vessel put here to, to, to follow through with what I... My, my mission in life, or my, mm -hmm. one of my goals in life is to be. Well, tell me, what, what could we expect for this up-and-coming um, film festival? Well, this coming festival, speaking of tributes, as Uncle Al um, gave tributes to Rita Hayworth and people like that, um, this year we're going to give a tribute to Lawrence Fishburne. Mm -hmm. So um, we're going to be honoring him. He's coming down to the Bahamas mm -hmm. to wow. accept the award from Sir Sean Connery. Okay. And so it's going to be really exciting. We're going to be bringing the festival to the community where that all films are going to be shown on Nassau property. Okay. And then we're going to have a lot of special events at Atlantis and different mm -hmm. areas like British Colonial Hilton around around the Bahamas. And right, because I see you, you involve a lot of other um, local um, um, venues and stuff like that in um it's very important we have amazing sponsors the ministry of tourism atlantis chopard versace mm -hmm. jet blue british colony hilton ansbacher mm -hmm. lumba odidari hinch i mean they all want to showcase themselves so it's very important to provide them with a branding opportunity within the events that we have at the film festival mm, i guess they probably tapped into your passion for it i hope so yeah. <laughs> yeah. i love it it's, mm -hmm. it's something that i really love and like cooking you know i think it's you have to enjoy what you do yeah. because how can you <laughs> have other people appreciate it you know mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. the taste and I, I always say to um, people when they're making food uh -huh. um, you have to do it with love right and then you have to do it in a happy oh. atmosphere you have to ha be in a happy and clean atmosphere mm -hmm. because then y no one will enjoy it and you know that you you won't get an upset stomach yeah. you know that, that it's it's just a, it's Eating and food is a lifestyle. Uh -huh. is and it's like an art. It's an art. Uh -huh. And we do it three times a day. Mm -hmm. And the majority of the times we're eating. Mm -hmm. you know? Well, I tell you <laughs> what, th um, with this episode today, um, we're going to take your, your regular breakfast to a whole new level of elegance. Great. Because I, I tell you, this probably would be the most elegant breakfast, <gasps> I think, that, I have that I've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> I, <laughs> so you're going to make me an elegant breakfast? Uh, we're going to make some cornflakes. Oh, okay, uh, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Um, what, what we're going to prepare, be preparing, actually, we're going to make some, um, some nice um, banana pancakes. Yeah. We're going to make a nice um, apple cinnamon, uh, a nice strudel. Gooey. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> You're going good. to Germany, so you got to practice some strudels. Yeah, i got to work <laughs> on the strudel. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's going to be a nice, real gooey sauce that's going to, um, we're going to cover that and kind of like smother it in that. Okay. Um, and then we're going to make uh, a nice um, fruit salad. It's going to be a fresh fruit salad. And I have a breakfast drink that I, I think we're just going to take it one step at a time. It will be too difficult to explain. Okay. But you will see. Okay. Well, we'll have. I'll see and I'll taste. We'll see and <laughs> we will taste. <laughs> okay, great. Uh, I can't wait. Don't mind me. I can't wait either. Yeah. Well, we'll have all of that and our wine of the week when we get back from the break. Wine for breakfast? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh gosh, I love it. <laughs> you stay tuned.